Tawana, but you can call me T. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. We have a very special episode. In the honor of Halloween, we're going to be doing some Halloween goodies for the kids. I have two toddlers, age two and three, and they're going to be joining me. They're going to help me make a cheesy jack-o'-lantern quesadilla. That'll be in part one, and stick around to see what we'll make for part two. So let's get started with these cheesy quesadillas. We'll bring the girls in later to help us do the finishing touches. First, let me show you what we used. I wanted something to resemble the color of a pumpkin. So I went out and I got this sun-dried tomato, and I think it has basil as well, tortilla. And I wanted them small. Look at how small and cute this is. Isn't it adorable? I wanted it small, something that they could hold to not make a mess and could possibly walk around with it. Let's start off by showing you the technique I used. Like I said, I didn't want it to be this big. This is pretty big, huh? So what I decided to do was I took a glass and I measured out a circle and I just put it there and you know, make sure you got a circle. The glass was the perfect size for my girl's hands. So I kind of pressed and shook and twisted until I got a firm circle here bedded in on the tortilla. And then I just went around and took off the edges. And if it don't come out perfect, of course you can always take the glass and do it again, but hopefully this one will be perfect. All right, and that's how we got our round circle. So now, our jack-o'-lantern has to have a face. Of course, it's not a jack-o'-lantern without a face, right? Let's make the face for our jack-o'-lantern. I have these already cut out parts here. I have a triangle, and I have a mouth for our jack-o'-lantern. That was the easiest way for me to do it. And so, to kind of keep everything uniform, I just followed the same pattern. I kind of kept the pieces that works for me. I followed the same pattern, and I'm going to show you what I did. So here, I took my knife with the pattern here on the tortilla that I cut out earlier and I just kind of print push the knife into the tortilla to basically do a cutout of the jack-o'-lantern's eye. I got both of the eyes out for a jack-o'-lantern. Now we're going to do the mouth and again I had these already pre-cut and just take your knife along your pre-cut piece and then once you get it you just kind of pop it out now again this is something I thought of you could always take it and maybe like place it upside down to make like you know a different face on your jack-o'-lantern but my girls are two and three so they like happy faces for now and see this is what you get and you can be as creative as you want but you know you don't want all your cheese to ooze out we have our jack-o'-lantern face already cut out and prepped so the only thing left to do is add the cheese and I think I'm going to need a helper for that. Look who we have joining us in the kitchen. This is Layla. Thank you for joining me today, Layla. Are you ready to help me make the jack-o'-lantern quesadillas? Yes. All right, well, let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to put some cheese on our quesadillas, okay? Yes. All right, Mommy's going to get a little cheese, and I want you to get some, too. You know, you get your own. You get some, too. And I'm going to put it down here on my quesadilla, on my tortilla. Yeah, fill it up, Layla. Good job, good job. Now that we have our tortilla covered with cheese, it's time to add our faces. Layla, can you help me add our jack-o'-lantern faces to our tortilla? Yes. Oh, you did a wonderful job. How do you think it looked? Good. London, she's joining us here in the kitchen. London, can you tell everybody hello? No. Okay, she said no. Let's see if she'll help me put some cheese on these tortillas. Um, All right, London, um, would you like to help Mommy add some cheese on the tortilla? Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. You're going to add yours there. Wonderful. You're doing such a good job. More? I like a lot of cheese, too. You think you need a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Good job, Lunny. I'll put a little bit more on mine, too. Are you ready to add our face onto our, our quesadillas? Okay, let's pick up pick up your face. Pick that up, little face. Yes, ma'am. Pick that up, and then we're gonna lay it on top. Can I see you lay yours on top? Uh uh. Well, you have to lay it on top, cause we're making a pumpkin. Uh. Lay it on top. Let Mama see you lay it on top. <gasps> Good job, Lunny. Pick up. Good job. You did it. Give I me five. All right. All right. Now that we have our quesadillas prepared and ready to go in the oven, you set your oven to 350 and you put them in there for about 
10 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them because you don't want them to ooze all the cheese out. Right? Oh wow, look, already out of the oven. Aren't they adorable? The cheese is oozing right in the right places. Oh my God, the girls are gonna uh, enjoy these. And I also put down parchment paper so it doesn't make a mess. That way the cheese doesn't stick to the pan and actually you can peel it right off the parchment paper as well. Well, I definitely would like to thank the girls for joining me today. Thank you, Layla, and thank you, London. And as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please make sure you subscribe and share it with friends and family. And as always, thank you for joining us for Tea Time. All right, girls, let's tell everybody goodbye. Bye. Bye.